The Man I Think I Know is a story about two men who help each other through trauma. It opens with the two boys at a very prestigious private school and they're both at the end of their school career, they're up for the school prize. Cut to several years later, the, the two men are in their mid-thirties, but their, their fortunes haven't turned out quite the way they thought they would. Danny's unemployed and depressed and living in Coventry, while James, once a highly successful businessman and uh, an, an MP, is now living with his parents following an accident, which has left him with a brain injury. The paths cross again when Danny's doll gets cut and he is forced to get a low paid job uh, with a local care home and it just so happens that James is resident there. James recognises Danny immediately but uh, Danny pretends that he doesn't know him. After the hothouse we visit a greenhouse. It is full of cactuses. Afterwards we go outside to see all the different plants and trees. Danny Allen is not doing anything interesting. A few times I try and catch Danny's eye, but he's always looking away. I wonder if maybe there is something wrong with Danny's brain like there is with mine. And maybe that is why he cannot remember me. I tell myself that I am not going to give up until I find out why Danny Allen is lying about me. While I eat my sandwiches, I keep my eye on him at all times. He's sitting on the edge of the koi pond, smoking a cigarette and playing on his phone. When he hears the sound of my feet on the crunchy gravel around the pond, he looks straight at me. Eventually, Daddy admits to James that he does know him and um, they actually begin to become friends again. And uh, they get, as they get to know each other, they, they sort of enjoy each other's company. And uh, James eventually asks Danny to be his living carer. And over time, they help each other overcome their demons. It's now a little over two months since I moved into James' apartment as his carer. And in that time, much to my relief, I've grown considerably more comfortable in James' company. And better still, the awkwardness I'd feared would make this situation impossible never materialised. James and I have had lots of fun too. Whether it's been the lazy mornings we spent playing video games, the late nights working through our latest Netflix addiction, or the afternoons sitting around our apartment chatting, James has proved to be good company. It feels like we're flatmates, friends even. Two youngish, single guys with no ties, enjoying the freedom to fit our away hours of our lives guilt-free. The Man I Think I Know is about friendship, and it's about bravery and it's about overcoming adversity. I think we all struggle with things in life, whether it's divorce or unemployment or depression, any of the things that, are, that can affect us in life. One of the things we have to do is admit that we've got a problem. And the, and the second thing we need to do is, is, is try and do something about it and not just stay where we are.